Hello friends, I am Dr. Sajad Patan and today we are going to look at another question of the day for your MR Chem primary exam. There is a lot to take from this video and I would recommend you to watch it till the end. So let's start with the question of the day. An 18 year old male is in the emergency department with a fall on the elbow. On your examination you suspect an elbow fracture and the x-ray is obtained as given. Which of the following clinical exams would warrant a nerve injury, cannot feel the digits, cannot flex the elbow, cannot extend and abduct the index and middle finger, cannot make an OK sign, cannot abduct the limb up to 15 degrees. Let us have a look at the x-ray first and then I will allow you time to pause the video and make an answer choice. Here is the x-ray given. So let us interpret the x-ray pathology. The bone appears to be normal. Good. I don't see anything broken. However, there is a small amount of posterior fat pad sign here. The posterior fat pad over here. And there is also anterior fat pad over here. Remember guys, these days as obesity is on the rise, anti-abdominal fat pad may be normal for us if we get it anteriorly. But if somebody is having a fat pad at the back, that is pathological. We call it Cushing's disease, isn't it? Similarly, anterior fat pad may be normal in the distal arm, but a posterior fat pad is always, always abnormal. But what if the anterior fat pad is triangular, triangular over there, like a sail, that becomes abnormal too. So when you have a posterior fat pad sign or an anterior sail sign, what you need to think of is that there is a supracondylar fracture. Now let us look at the question again. You can pause the video over here and make a choice of yours. Let us move ahead and look at the explanation. So elbow injury is showing supracondylar fracture. Okay on the x-ray we saw that there is a supracondylar fracture so what is the most common nerve to be involved over here the most common nerve to be involved over here is the anterior introsious nerve anterior introsious nerve which is a branch of median nerve i remember it by the mnemonic main m for median anterior introsious nerve let us now look at some theory behind it there's an interesting game we play and it is called as rock paper scissors okay so uh, there was this paper published which talks about assessment of uh, supracondylar fracture or hand injuries in uh, pediatric population where uh, if they're able to make the paper sign the radial nerve appears to be intact if they're able to make the media uh, rock sign the median nerve is intact and if they are able to abduct the index and the middle finger, that is the ulnar nerve uh, is intact. And if they are able to make an OK sign, anterior introsious nerve is intact. Also, you need to understand the abduction and adduction of the digits is because of the intrinsic muscles of the hand, which we call it as lumbricals. So, uh, or introsias, sorry, a uh, palmar introsias and dorsal introsia. So, palmar is pad, they do a deduction, they bring the fingers closer, whereas the dorsal introsia are called as dab, D A B dab. So, uh, that is the ulnar nerve. So, let's dissect the questions, uh, the answer choices. Cannot feel the digits. That's the distal uh, sensory involvement. That could be median and ulnar nerve. So, that's intact. We are looking for anterior introsious nerve. So, cannot flex the elbow. Cannot flex the elbow just because of the pain is different. So, obviously, if 
you can't say that there is any damage just because of the pain they are not able to but when we are looking at somebody who's got an injury in the axilla and cannot flex the elbow then that is muscular cutaneous now because they supply the bbc the brachio uh, the brachialis biceps brachii and coracobrachialis so uh, cannot extend an abduct we told that was scissors that's ulnar nerve cannot make an okay sign that is the anterior interosseous nerve cannot abduct the limb up to 15 degrees that is your suprascapular nerve from for the supraspinatus muscle so the answer choice here was cannot make an okay sign so if you got this correct well done if you didn't at least now you know that rather than selecting a median nerve you need to select the branch of that median nerve which is anterior interosseous nerve so some mnemonics here before we finish uh, main median nerve anterior interosseous nerve and rip which is radial nerve or radial artery and the branch are in posterior interosseous nerve or posterior interosseous artery but anterior interosseous artery is a branch of so you saw anterior interosseous nerve is a branch of median nerve posterior interosseous nerve and artery is a branch of radial nerve and radial artery anterior interosseous artery is a branch of third one which is remaining that's ulnar artery and that's all for today guys uh, if you like this video please give up give it a like and thumbs up and um, please share it with your colleagues uh, hope to see you again with the next video happy studying and peace